Let's get a little breeze on this land. All right. Now let's get some bounce in at the rhythm. With its pristine beaches, mouth-watering seafood, and extremely laid-back vibe, Jamaica is the ultimate Caribbean getaway. There's no wonder that this sunny island nation remains one of the most popular vacation destinations, as you can enjoy everything here, from fresh eats, being out in nature, great music, and an exciting nightlife. Are you planning to spend your next vacation in Jamaica? Though it can be very exciting to plan out everything you want to do on your trip, it would also help to be mindful of the things that you should avoid. If you want to enjoy a truly hassle-free vacation, watch this video to learn more about what not to do in Jamaica. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button. And do remember to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Number 10. Do not explore the island by cab. Although one would think that taking a cab would be the best way to explore an unfamiliar place, there are actually a few reasons why it would be best to avoid exploring the island by private cab, especially if it's your first time there. Mainly, this is because there is a bargaining culture in Jamaica, and if you are not accustomed to haggling, some drivers may take advantage and demand you pay an unfairly expensive fare. Though not all drivers are out to scam you, it would be wiser to just make sure of the services like car rentals or even guided tours of the city. Number 9. Do not take rides with strangers in the city. Another thing to avoid when exploring the city is traveling or taking rides with strangers. Although you should mingle with the residents and even make some new friends along the way, this is standard advice. Putting yourself in a position where you can be taken advantage of by a stranger in an unfamiliar place is not the most prudent thing to do no matter where you are. It would be better if you could take public transport, like buses or the red plate cabs, and simply ask the drivers for directions, if you are unsure. Number 8. Do not eat non-local seafood. With its beautiful coast, Jamaica is also rich in fresh and delicious seafood. While it could be tempting to try every seafood dish on the menu, it would be wise to be mindful of which kinds of seafood are available locally and which ones must be sourced elsewhere. It is best to avoid non-local seafood because these tend to be less fresh and priced higher. You'll end up paying more for lower quality seafood. Some of this non-local seafood to look out for include tiger prawns, salmon and the like. Lobster wild source locally is another type of seafood to steer clear of during the months of July through March as catching them is illegal during the off-season. Off Number 7. Do not expect help from the cops. Though dedicated and well-meaning, the Jamaican police have a reputation for being unreliable when it comes to dealing with petty crimes. This is because they are unfortunately severely underpaid and understaffed. There simply isn't enough manpower to deal with all the crimes that occur. So their attention is often directed towards more serious crimes and not towards crime like theft. So if you ever lose your belongings or get pickpocketed, you are probably going to have to deal with it on your own. Therefore, it is important to exercise caution on your trip. Number 6. Do not underestimate the roadside jerk shacks. Roadside jerk shacks can be found almost anywhere in Jamaica. Don't be fooled by the low frills appearance. Much of the food that they serve in jerk shacks are not only more reasonable priced but also much tastier than many of the restaurants in the area. Many of these roadside jerk shacks also offer great deals like all-inclusive meals and barbecue nights. Jerk shacks are also great places to mingle with the locals and meet other tourists you wouldn't want to miss out. Number 5. Avoid being alone with resort staff. Although resorts are generally safe and your staff friendly and accommodating, it is often advised not to let yourself be alone with resort staff. This is especially true for female travelers. Over the last few years, some reports have surfaced about harassment faced by tourists when left alone with a staff member of the resort they have checked into. These have ranged from theft to sexual assault at worst. As a rule, it would be best to remain close to your group if you are traveling with friends or family, or try to frequent areas where you can be around other tourists or visitors when staying in a resort. Number 4. Do not expect punctuality. One of the things that makes Jamaica an excellent vacation destination is the locals' laid-back vibe. 
However, this also makes them notorious for being late. Island time is a real thing in Jamaica, and it is difficult to expect punctuality here, even from professionals like the staff in a restaurant or a tour group. The best thing to do would be to anticipate this, schedule activities in advance, and ultimately just learn to be a little more lax about it. You're better off learning to get used to the slower pace during your stay. Number 3. Don't backpack through Jamaica. Though the idea of exploring a country as beautiful as Jamaica sounds very exciting, it is not recommended for tourists, especially those who are inexperienced or just visiting the country for the first time, to go backpacking. This ties into the advice listed earlier regarding sharing rides with strangers. Backpackers are among the top targets of criminals in Jamaica because they are often vulnerable and know very little about the area. It would be safer if you set an itinerary and choose to visit highly populated areas instead of going off the beaten path. Number 2. Avoid walking around the Kingston at night. As Jamaica's capital city, Kingston is one of the busiest and most popular areas there. There is plenty you can enjoy here during the day, including the beautifully preserved 19th century Devon House as well as the National Gallery of Jamaica. At night, however, these areas become a hotbed of crime. Kingston is notorious for its high crime rates, particularly within the inner city areas. To avoid becoming a victim of these crimes, it is best to explore Kingston during the day. If you must get around Kingston at night, be sure to travel as a group and to stick to well-lit, heavily populated areas. Number 1. Try not to use American dollars. One of the very first things you should do before traveling to Jamaica is to make sure you have converted your American currency into Jamaican dollars. Most tours and services do not accept payments in anything but the local currency. Those that do also tend to be located at the more expensive areas. You can easily end up paying more just because you are paying in American dollars. Fortunately, there are plenty of ways to avoid this. It would be best to do your research on the cost of basic goods in Jamaica before your trip. It would be best to have your money changed even before you leave home. But if you somehow forget to, you can always have your money changed at a bank or even at your hotel in Jamaica. So, although Jamaica is one of the most relaxed vacation spots in the world and certainly not any less safe than most other places, taking a few precautions will go a long way towards being able to enjoy your trip to the fullest. Just be mindful of these travel tips and you should be able to kick back, relax and soak in the Jamaican sun without any stress or worry. Exercise caution and enjoy Jamaica. Until then, thank you for joining me again. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and remember that you can subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any of my updates. I am Alex. I'm on a mission. A mission. Today is the day. Start your mission. Let's take it.